Hey space fans, it's Tarek Malik, Editor-in-Chief of Space.com, and I'm here at Sotheby's New York, where they have, apparently, the world's largest meteorite from Mars, and I want to check it out. So we're going to come here. They think it's going to sell for millions. Let's go see it. All right, here we are. We're on the third floor of Sotheby's. This is apparently, look, there's space exploration over there. That's so cool. All right, we're going to come see the meteorite. It's right over here. This is all, look at all these gems. Wow, very nice. Oh, here it is. It's the largest piece of Mars on Earth. Wow. It's absolutely enormous. So this here, this is NWA 16788. It's the largest piece of Mars on Earth that we've ever, I guess, found? It seems it was discovered in November of 2023 by a meteorite hunter in Niger's remote, I think I'm going to pronounce this right, Agadez region. And it's about 54 pounds, just over that actually, 54 pounds, point, well, 54.39 pounds. And that makes it about 70% larger than the next biggest piece of Mars on the planet. In fact, over here you can see how it stacks up. Okay, so here... Here are the ones that are being sold uh, by Sotheby's. This is, I guess, all the meteorites that they've sold. There's this tiny one, Zagami, which is just a partial piece. Then you have Tissent. Tissent is a very famous meteorite. Then a complete slice in 2021. And then all of these ones are apparently being sold, some of them in, in July. They're getting bigger. You can see this 14269 is 0.45, so about half a pound. Then you have a full pound right here, Swaya, double two. One pound, okay, that's an end piece. Another one pounder, all right, getting getting up there, getting up there. And then right here, these are all of the meteorites that Sotheby's have sold from Mars over time. But this is the biggest, right there. Pretty slick, right? Look, it's got the reflections on it. Hey, you can see me. Hey, can you see me? <laughs> Now, of like the 77,000 meteorites that we have found over the ages, only 400 or so are actually confirmed to be from Mars. And the way that it gets here is that you can see here's Mars right over here. Basically, my fist is an asteroid. It smacks right into Mars. Kapow! A bunch of ejecta comes out. It comes all the way, and then it just re-enters, and it reaches Earth, which is like what? I mean, millions of miles. That must have taken it forever to get here. One of the reasons that scientists get very excited for meteorites like this is because they give us an up close and personal look at what the surface of Mars actually is like. In fact, what the subsurface would be, because this could come from deep within the planet, you know, uh, uh, hundreds of feet down, if not from that impact itself. What Sotheby says is that there is a, a very clear, like parts that are glassy fusion crust that appear f that to have been seared into its surface, you know, when it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. And then it ultimately made its resting place in the Sahara Desert, which is pretty slick. I have never seen a Mars meteorite, I think, in person. Just pictures of them, and this is by far. I mean, like, here's my fist for comparison. It's, like, enormous. You can see that, right? Well, look, I can almost touch Mars. Look. Boop, boop. I booped it. <laughs> you can't touch it because, clearly, it's a pristine sample. But that is spectacular. Now Sotheby's thinks that this is going to go for somewhere between two to four million dollars when it gets sold and hopefully it'll get on public display somewhere else maybe like a museum or something like that but you know wherever it ends up landing again after Niger uh, hopefully it finds someone that can uh, clearly appreciate it.